I've got a bad case of dad bod. I'm a middle-aged dad, and this is my journey to get back in shape by rediscovering my childhood love of cycling. Come on and take a ride with me. Okay, welcome back to On Your Left. Today we're going to try out a different bike since my Trek is still in the shop. Uh, today I'm riding on a, uh, it's a Live by Giant, Live Hybrid. Um, Live is a Giant's specialized line for, well, it's supposed to be women's bikes. There's not really a whole lot different between this and a men's bike. Um, it's similar in size and configuration to a uh, To a Trek, um, a Trek FX line, um, but it's a little bit lower quality. It does have uh, nice brakes. The only thing weird I feel about it is, uh, is uh, well, it's got a different drivetrain, and uh, the um, the reach is a little short for me. But um, you know, we're gonna work with it. Uh, I'm in the same spot that I started when I tried out the Civia. Um, you can see what little bit you can see from the helmet camera. Um, it's a similar bike. This one's got hydraulic disc brakes, which I like a lot. And um, instead of a 3x8 shifters uh, drivetrain, it's got a 2x8 drivetrain. So it feels a little different. And for some reason, it's extremely noisy over here. So I'm just going to take off and we'll describe the bike once we get out on the road once I get a clear spot to go. So I'm going to try and do the same run that I did on the Civia. I'm going to go around over to, uh, to Schoolhouse Road, go down Schoolhouse Road as far as we feel. All right, you can probably hear me better now that I'm a little bit away from the, uh, a little bit away from the main road. So, um, uh, like I was saying, this is uh, similar to like the Trek FX series. It's uh, really a fitness hybrid. It's, I'd put it in the same class as the Civia, but uh, the Civia seems to have more of a... It's configured more as a... A little bit more as a comfort or commuter hybrid, but it's got a more performance-oriented drivetrain. This has a more fitness-oriented... Um, more fitness oriented geometry, I think, because uh, it's lower bars, they're a little bit more forward, but the reach is still short on it, at least for me. Uh, we got this bike from our local giant dealer, Sourland Cycles, uh, and it was intended for one of my daughters to use, but I'm borrowing it today. Uh, it fits her really well, she really likes it, um, even though she doesn't ride all that often. Um, it's got slightly smoother tires than the Civia had, but still in the same ballpark. Uh, roughly the same size. Tires, 35 millimeter, 700 C. It definitely feels a little bit more sluggish than the Civia does. Not sure if that's because of the, the seating position I'm in. Although I suspect it is from the Wow, a lot of cars today. I suspect it's more from uh, the lower end drivetrain on this thing. Not sure what brand the drivetrain is, but it's definitely not Shimano. Once I got it up to speed, it's fairly smooth. I think the shifter pa paddles could be a little better. The, uh, the thumb buttons for upshifting are in a slightly awkward place, at least for me. Someone with smaller hands may disagree. 
and it rides pretty smooth once you get it to speed. Now one thing I do notice when I'm changing gears, um, does change gears right away like a like a drivetrain that's in you know almost new condition should but it is clunky the changes are a little loud and clunky there's a definite jolt when it, <laughs> the definite jolt when it gets in gear let me drop down one downshift smoother than it upshifts I'm actually going to drop down to my bottom ring here, even though this isn't a hell of a lot of a hill. Don't know if you heard that. I dropped down to my uh, small ring in the front and then I went up one gear in the back with a noticeable clunk. This is that starting initial first hill. It's still making me huff and puff a little on this bike. A little easier because I drop down further in gears. But the bike doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to be as quick or as snappy as the, uh, as either the Civia or the uh, Dual Sport. back up to my big ring. Uh, I don't recall what brand, what brand brakes are, these are. They're not the same hydraulic brakes that I have on my, uh, on my Trek bike but they seem like they're comparable. They stop real fast. Uh, it's a little bit more pull on the, uh, on the levers than on the Shimano's that I have on the track, but it still can stop really confidently even using like one finger on the, tr on the handles, which feels great. All right, another hill. I'm gonna drop back down. dropping down my front gear. I don't know if you can see by the shift levers, the indicator on this one makes it a little harder to tell what gear you're in. Uh, at least the one on the, uh, for the back shifter. Front shifter is fine, it's just one and two. The back shifter is, just has gear one and gear eight marked. You have to kind of guess in the middle. All right. All right, back up to my top ring. I think I'm in six on the back. You know, about where I typically ride. And again, I'm not quite sure how fast I'm going here, but if you look below the video, check out the link to my Ride with GPS page. You can uh, take a look at my run and see how fast I was going in any given section. And you'll be able to see the parts of the ride that I didn't show.
Yeah, I don't think I'd want to ride this bike as a regular bike because the uh, hand position is a little off for me. Definitely like something with a little bit more reach, like the bars to be further away than they are. So I can already feel uh, putting a lot of pressure on my hands more than, more than I normally would. My right hand's already getting a little numb. But I don't consider that a problem with the bike. It's a problem with me. This bike's really meant for, for a smaller person than me. Um, other things, it's a medium frame bike. And um, on most sizing charts, I'm right in between sizes for medium and large. So it should work either way, but I think the geometry on this bike is definitely designed for somebody a little shorter, even though that's what it says for the range. Now my daughter is fairly tall, but she's not as tall as I am. So she is definitely more firmly into the uh, into the medium but medium frame range and she has shorter arms than I do and once this bike gets going it feels okay when I have to when I have to really step on the gas and accelerate or uh, kick off from a dead stop, it does feel sluggish compared to the other two bikes that I ride. I feel like I'm working harder for the same course, but I'm probably going a similar speed. This section with smooth pavement actually feels really good. Yeah. And you see, shifting is a little tricky when your hands are starting to go numb. <laughs> I had trouble finding the, uh, the paddle for the upshifter. More my right hand that's getting uh, that's feeling it than my left. So the other thing I notice about this bike is the pedals don't feel quite right for me. They feel a little small, and for some reason, the left pedal feels like it wants to roll out from under my feet, foot rather. So it took a little bit of a, a little bit of riding to get used to it. I think there's, I'm pretty sure they're much smaller pedals than I'm used to on the Trek. And they are, the Civia had smaller pedals, but they were metal and fairly heavy, much heavier than these pedals. These are resin or plastic pedals. may have something to do with it. All right, coming up to the main light. I'm gonna continue on just like I did with the Civia. Uh, this time I've got the light with me. Right. 
I'm up on the island so I can stay on the shoulder. Oh, a lot of debris in the shoulder here. Now the part you didn't see the other day was that this section is mostly downhill in this direction. It's mostly uphill on the way back. So I was not a happy camper <laughs> when I did the Sivia video on my way back. It's not, it's not a lot of an incline. It's enough that you feel it. And it's a very, very long slight incline. So by the time I get about halfway back, I'm getting a little bumpy here. Right, getting into the fast part of this course. A little bit of an uphill here coming up to the next light. This actually is a bike lane here. Let's try dropping down to my whoop. I just threw my chain. Hang on one second. A little bit too much into the incline when I shifted. So I threw my chain off the bottom ring. Nice dirty hand, nice dirty hands. All right, then I get started. Yeah, I was already into the hill. I was a little too far into the hill when I shifted. So I threw my chain off. It definitely feels like uh, that's something the other bikes would have handled okay. That car was kind of impatient to turn. A little bit of roadkill there. One big difference today, I was shifting more with my uh, front shifter. The other bikes, the third ring was tall enough that uh, I felt okay staying in it. I don't know the exact numbers, but it feels like this bike is uh, different gear ratios than the other bikes. As far as gearing goes, the Civia and the Dual Sport actually feel almost exactly the same to me. So I'm going to get all the way up into my top gear. Get a little speed on this last flat. Giving it a good push now. Yeah, my top gear feels about the same as it does on the other bikes. I'm getting mired down a little bit. Just gonna shift in the back. So I am going a little uphill at this point. I don't want to throw my chain again. I think this is the last climb before the light.
And since we're coming up to the end of the road and the light, the traffic's picking up more, so I'm gonna do what I did last time and pull off into the last driveway for our sign off. Okay. Well, I seem like I'm a little out of focus here. There we go. Not sure I must have ticked the camera at some point when I especially when I got off to uh to fix my chain. So that's another helmet cam video. This was uh my test drive of my daughter's live by giant. Um, all in all, nice bike. Good bike for a good bike for a younger kid, especially one that's shorter than me. <laughs> it has a shorter uh, shorter arm length. Not so good for a full-grown adult. Although uh, my wife felt comfortable on it, but uh, like just like my daughter, she's shorter and uh, shorter than me and has shorter arms. So uh, with that, I am probably going to take a different route home. Than I did last time just because I don't want to go up that hill all at once again <laughs> and be lazy. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, you know, if you like this kind of video, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can do some more bike reviews because I do have a couple of other bikes in the garage that I can try out. And um, yeah, that's that. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, comment, share the video. Hit the bell for notifications. Do all that good YouTube stuff that helps get the channel out there to other people. And have a great day. The weather is awesome today. So, you know, this would be a great day, great week to get out and ride while you can. Peace out. Oh, boy. Look, my hair is all messed up again. <laughs>